Today on TeachVid.com, we're comparing fractions. Before we get started, let me give a shout out to Ben, a TeachVid fan, for suggesting today's topic. Today's topic is comparing fractions using the benchmark of half. So let's take a look at these two fractions. Let's say we wanted to know which is greater, 3 fourths or 2 8. A really quick way to do this is by thinking about half. So we'll look at this one and we have to try to keep in mind, all right, is it greater than half or less than half? So we'll take a look at our uh, denominator, which is 4. And then you look at your numerator and you say, all right, half of 4 is 2. Is 3 greater or less than 2? Well, it's greater than, so it's going to be greater than half. We'll look at the two eights. Half of eight is four. Is two greater or less than the four? Well, it's less than. So right away, we can tell just by using this benchmark of a half that three fourths is greater than two eighths. Let me show you that one more time. Let's say we wanted to compare five twelfths or six tenths to find out which one was greater. So right away we'll say, well, if I have 12 in my denominator, half of 12 is six. Is five greater or less than six? It is less than six. And we take a look at this one and we say, well, half of 10 is five and six is greater than five. So we know right away that this is the greater fraction. So using the benchmark of half, finding out if the numerator is greater than half or less than half of the denominator can help you quickly compare fractions and find out which one's greater. I hope that today's topic, comparing fractions, was helpful to you. If it was, then hit the thumbs up button. Leave your questions and ideas for new videos in the comments section or send an email to steph at teachvid.com. And don't forget to tell your friends about teachvid.com because there are more great videos on the way. And we would say, I just absolutely gave you half equals half. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. Got to stop on that one. <laughs> I meant.